Hello, I'm Terry McCann, and today I'm going to talk about the relationship between profit, costs, and quality. Specifically, I want to look at the question as to whether it is more profitable to cut costs or improve quality. Let me begin by saying that I am no more against looking for a reduction in costs than looking for peace of mind. But just as peace of mind cannot be pursued as an end in itself, but is rather the byproduct of a certain way of living with others in the world, so reduction in costs is the result of increased efficiency and effectiveness in the processes of production. In other words, reduction in costs is a byproduct. If you aim for an efficient and effective process for producing a quality product or service, then you should get a certain reduction in cost as a byproduct. If you simply look to cut costs in whatever way seems quickest and easiest, such as closing departments and reducing headcount, then your aim will be off and so will your focus. You thereby run the risk of a lot of collateral damage to your means of production, shooting whatever gets between you and your target and yourself in the foot. In 1990, Rafael Aguayo wrote a book laying out the management philosophy and principles of Dr. W. Edwards Deming. In his book, Dr. Deming, the American who taught the Japanese about quality. That was 25 years ago. Reading it today, I am amazed at how relevant and apposite those principles still are. In that book on page 33, Aguayo uses a simple example to illustrate one way that quality increases profit. In this example, it is because of less rework by getting things right the first time. If you run a plant with a defect rate of 5 per 100, your revenue is limited to 95 saleable items per 100, but your costs are still for 100 items. Let's say selling price is $1 per item. Production cost is $90 per batch of 100 items. Then your profit will be $5. If you improve production quality by about 5% such that there are zero defects, then revenue goes up to $100, cost of production remains the same, and profit doubles from $5 to $10. So, a quality improvement of 5% in the production process has resulted in a 100% increase in profits. Not too shabby. Ah, but you say that there is an additional processing or wage cost for improving the quality and reliability of production. Even if we increase the cost of production by 5% to $94.50, that would still give us a 10% increase in profits to $5.50. The other side of this coin is that a quality improvement in production can be expected to translate into an improvement in the reliability and other quality attributes of the finished product. That should have a positive knock-on effect on enhanced customer satisfaction, which, in turn, creates returning customers and repeat sales out of once-off customers. The moral of the story? Look after the quality and the profit will take care of itself. These are not Deming's actual words, but the philosophy is his. This is similar to look after the customer and the business will take care of itself, attributed to Ray Kroc, founder of McDonald's. I'm Terry McCann. My company is TCMC Quality Management Services. If you would like to talk about ways to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of your business and operational processes to increase your profitability, send me an email. Terry.McCann at tcmc-qms.ca Terry.McCann at tcmc-qms.ca